Hi, welcome to Athorny Park, a community of back gardeners to learn and share experiences. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a few ways that I use to save money and recycle things from around the house. It's springtime here in the UK and it's the time of the year when we use a ton of pots of all shapes and sizes. Therefore, it's one of the best times to save money. Reusing things from around the house is simple. Take toilet roll tubes for example. We all use them and would otherwise throw them away anyway. Cut them in half with a pair of scissors. Fill with some potting soil or all-purpose compost and you have yourself a perfect little pod to sow seeds into. If you keep aside any plastic trays which some foods come in, six or eight of these would fit in there nicely and would keep things tidy. When ready to be transplanted, the whole thing can go in the ground and won't disturb the seedlings' roots. The next are egg boxes. By cutting the top off, you give yourself two options. The top, when filled with compost or potting soil, becomes a seed tray. The bottom, when filled, becomes a cell tray. The benefit to this is that, when it's used and slightly damp, each cell will break apart from the others so they can be planted separately. It will break down the soil naturally, which makes transplanting a little less disruptive on the seedling. Getting the most uses out of plastic is so important for the environment, so I reuse yoghurt pots as well. Make sure to pierce a little hole in the bottom so water can escape though. My favourite method for saving money is to make my own newspaper parts. Newspaper is often free and most of us know someone who reads the newspaper and is able to put them aside for us. Newspaper is safe to use in composters and as a mulch, so it will break down in the soil. I learned this method from another video which I have linked to in the description. Starting with a sheet of newspaper, making sure to take any staples out. Open the sheet and then fold it in half. This will give our guideline. Fold the corners in to the centre as if you're making a paper aeroplane. Do this on both sides. Next, take the top flap, you only want one piece, not the whole lot. Fold it down to match the corners. Then fold that over again to overlap the corners. Flip the whole thing over and then fold in the sides to the centre. Again, do this on both sides. Then take the top flap, fold it down to match again, and then fold it a second time to overlap. Open this up and then tuck it in to the square area above, like you're tucking it into a pocket. Make sure you get it right down into the corners. The better you do here, the stronger it will be later. You don't need to tuck it into the triangular bit. Turning it round, fold the corner edge up to the top, and then fold over to the left hand side and flatten down this bit here. This will make it easier to pop open the box later. Pulling the two sides open gently will then pop that bottom bit up and will create your box shape. What I really like about this method is that you can change the size of the pot depending on how many folds you do at the beginning. If you'd like a larger pot, then just simply use the newspaper fold as your starting point. If you'd like a smaller one, do an additional fold at the beginning. I hope you found this video useful. If there's anything around the house that you reuse in the garden, 
let us know so we can all learn and grow together. There's a few other videos here that you might be interested in too, but there's no pressure.